In this video, I'm going to try and kill two birds with one stone, if you will. Um, I've had a lot of requests to um, share how I study using the textbook, as well as how I study for my research. So, I'm going to try and do my best to explain how I study. Um, it really comes down to what works best for you, what uh, you feel is the best way to study, because um, everyone has different studying techniques. So. Um, I guess we'll start. So when I have lecture, um, my instructor uploads all the PowerPoints for us. So this is just actually my first one that I had from MedSurge. And I will print and download everything for um, the exam. So these are my PowerPoint notes from my first lecture in MedSurge. Um, a lot of people print like the three slides with the lines next to it. I personally don't like that. I've never really found it helpful for me because I always like run off of the lines or write too big or whatever. So um, when I print the four slides on one page, I find that it works better for me because I get to write things all around the box and I can divide the page in half or whatever. Um, so that's how I do it. Um, I also print them back to back that type of thing. Um, I record my lectures on my iPhone, so I just make sure to um, save that lecture so in case I need to go back and listen to something again that I didn't understand or if I, whatever. Um, when I record the lectures um, and I miss something, I note the time that I missed that concept. So I'll write the time down based on what it says in my iPhone highlight it and circle it so when I'm studying I can go back and just go through everything to make sure I understand it. Um, that's how I do the lecture notes. It really is whatever you find is best, that type of thing. On a side note, um, when I do print out the lecture notes, I like to put the exam up there so that way I can file it back into my file folder which I have in a previous video. Um, I can put that in there. And they also have the day that we're doing the lecture on. So a lot of times I will print everything out, hole punch it, and then write the days that we're doing the lecture on. And then they all go in order based on the day that this lecture is gonna be given. Um, it just makes it easier on my part that way I know like I can go back and find the recording or I can know which lecture is going to be there without looking at the calendar. So it just prepares me for a lecture, which is nice. So something to think about. Tell it up to you guys. So when I come home from school, I will use my checklist. Um, I made a post about this before um, on how to do this. So the checklist has pretty much everything that's on the exam or it was asked of us to read. Um, so I go through the pages and I start reading it. Now, it's hard for me to sit down and actually read the book. Like, there's a lot of information. Let's see. I'll do electrolytes. I'll show you guys that one real quick. Okay. So this is where the electrolytes start. Now, there's a lot of information based on like the three that were in this topic. Um, I'll be quite honest, I didn't read everything because what I did was take the information from my PowerPoint notes and I compared it to the book. So what I mean by that is, um, I used like the study guide as a guideline or like a uh, like outline, if you will, to read the book. If that makes sense. Um, there was information in here that I did like look over, but it didn't sound familiar that we had learned in the lecture, so I just kind of like went through it, or I went and I skipped over it. When I am reading the textbook, I will use my MacBook and I start a running document of um, everything that I've read in the book. 
So like I said before, I use the PowerPoints as like an outline for reading the book, but then I also use the book to write notes on my MacBook um, in a Word document. So um, I'm just kind of like reading along with the book and typing everything out just so that I can have a second set of notes or like maybe more of like an in-depth note to have for studying. Um, I'll be honest again, I hated reading the textbook in high school and throughout my gen ed courses in community college, I would either write too much or I would just copy the words down just to say that I read the book. Um, I don't recommend doing that. I found it really boring. My hand hurt a lot, which is a lot of the reasons, or which is the main reason why I type my notes. So it really comes down to what you guys want. Um, I personally don't like writing everything down and then like you have to get all the paper and pens and it's just, it's easier for me to like format everything into a writing document. You can make it fun and colorful like I did here for respiratory acidosis. So, I mean, you, you make it work. You just, you gotta make it work. So, once I finished reading the book and the required pages from my assignment checklist, or assignment reading list, rather, um, I will do my charts. So my instructor gave us charts. I just reformatted this list one fine, actually. My instructor gave us charts that um, we could use to fill in information based on what we were learning in lecture. So it really helped me just kind of review everything that I need to know for the exam. Um, I did this usually like a day or two before like the first two exams, but then like the third, I was just like, I'm gonna go straight for it. So I used the PowerPoint notes and I transferred everything to the chart. Um, for me, it makes it very easy, especially since it's like color coded and everything. That's just me being like OCD, um, but it really just helped me organize everything in my brain. Um, people learn different. Anyways, back to it. So I use the charts to review everything for the exam. Um, I will do practice questions as well. Um, I can pull it up real fast. So this is the book that I used for practice questions. Um, it breaks it down nice and easy for you based on the topic you're learning. This is just an example of what's inside this book. Um, they have practice questions based on these topics here. Um, super helpful, especially when it came to the exam, um, because it gave you rationales as to why the correct answer was correct, like why it was correct, and then why the other three answers weren't correct. So um, it helped me out so much when preparing for that exam, and actually at the exam too, because I was sitting there going, okay, well I know this isn't the answer because, and so you write that down. You have to write your rationale down as to why it's not correct so you can figure out how to answer that question appropriately. Um, I definitely recommend this book especially for med surge, a lot of people have said it's like, um, like the best thing ever and I completely agree. So that's what it is. Definitely recommend. Um, so as a review, I use my PowerPoint notes as my outline for reading the book and that's when I type everything out based on what I read in the book. Um, I do correlate stuff, like I'll pull stuff from the PowerPoint and I'll put it into my paper notes, or my computer notes, sorry. Um, after that, I will put everything into my charts based on um, all the notes I had taken, and then I do practice questions. So um, I hope that helps, let me know your thoughts. Um, so I really don't know how else to explain it. Um, this is just how I do it. It's kind of complicated to explain because um, that's just my studying technique, if you will. But 
Um, but let me know what you guys think. Give a thumbs up, share the video, and don't forget to subscribe and follow my Instagram page.